Hey, Leos. I got your case of the X, okay? If it resonates, leave, a th leave me a thumbs up. This is our general readings, okay? So they're not going to resonate with everyone. In order to get something specifically for your situation, book a personal reading. I do have discounted rates for the month of May, okay? That information will be below in the drop box, okay? How does Leo's eggs fit by Leo? Hold on, guys. Okay. So, how does Leo's ex feel about Leo? How does Leo's ex feel about Leo? All right, so at the bottom of the deck, we have, it is safe for you to love. Getting to know each other. Unrequited love. And you deserve love. All right, so the first card we have is it is safe for you to love. So we're going to get some clarity. How does Leo's ex feel about Leo? How does Leo's ex feel about Leo? We have the tower card and we also have the moon card so something could have came out there could have been something that was shocking that was revealed something that someone was hiding um i'm just sensing that there was something that was kept hidden in the dark okay so let's clarify it is safe for you to love please clarify it is safe for you to love how does leo's ex feel about the leo how does leo's ex feel about the leo it is safe to love. Please clarify. It is safe to love. Please clarify. Okay. All right. We have the lover's card. Some of you guys could have been dealing with the Gemini or this is just having to make a decision. This is a heart overhead decision. Okay. Um, this is in regards to love. Okay. And there possibly could have been options. Someone was being a player. Okay. Someone's going back and forth um, to some options here. Um, This could have been some type of sex-based relationship. Clarify the lovers. Let's see. Clarify the lovers. Why is the lovers card here? This wanted to pop out. The Knight of Wands. This is fire energy. Some of you guys could be going back and forth. You're like they feel like you possibly are going back and forth. Temporary. So maybe they're feeling like there's an attraction there. But I don't, I'm sensing that they could be possibly feeling like it's not safe. Because it's everything is like temporary. It's kind of like coming back and forth, player type energy. Clarify the Knight of Wands. Clarify the Knight of Wands. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Yep, four of cups. They're not interested. They're tired of this. They don't want to accept the, the cup. They don't want to accept the offer here. Because someone is going back and forth. Someone is coming back and forth. Some back and forth energy. And I'm sensing that they're feeling like, they, you know, it's not safe for them to open up and, you know, give it 100%. So past energy, we have getting to know each other, okay? As you reveal your inner innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So let's see, getting to know each other. Getting to know each other. Please clarify getting to know each other. Please clarify getting to know each other. 
All right, we have the nine of pentacles. So some of you guys could have been, you know, decided to be single, be more independent, do things on your own, working on your finances. Okay, clarify the nine of pentacles. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. All right, somebody could have been moving forward, but they were still guarded. Um, like just being on guard about where to go, how to move. There's a sense of being on guard, okay? So maybe they feel as if they were getting to know you as being independent and single and they were on guard, possibly could have been watching and watching your moves. OK, watching how you move. That's what I'm sensing. Watching how you make your moves while you're single or while you're, you know, being a bachelor or a bachelorette. I feel like they were, you know, watching your moves. All right, so present energy, we have unrequited love. There is not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So something is unbalanced. Clarify unrequited love. Unrequited love. What is unrequited love here? Please clarify unrequited love. All right. We have the temperance card, which is the card of Sagittarius. But there could be, needs to be some healing, okay? There needs to be some balance. Both of these cards talks about balance. So there's not an equal exchange here. There's not an equal give and take. Clarify temperance. Clarify temperance. What is temperance here? What is that temperance? Why is temperance here? Why is temperance here? Why is temperance here? All right, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Um, someone is taking their time. Someone is moving really, really slow. Um, there could be a Virgo Taurus Capricorn involved, but someone is like being really strategic and taking their time um, and, and taking things slowly. I feel like they're trying to gain some clarity on the breakup and, you know, just trying to clear the air um, and get some clarity about the situation. But I'm sensing like they're feeling as if this was an unrequited situation and this is something that has been keeping them up. They've been thinking about it a lot. OK, it's on their mind. But I'm sensing that, you know, they're feeling like it's something wasn't balanced. It could have been moving too slow or they feel as if, you know, there's just, yeah, someone is left someone out in the cold or someone's could possibly have some financial issues. Um, and they're coming to the realization, like coming to some type of realization that possibly someone um, is left out in the cold or feels rejected. Okay. Some, someone's not, there's not like, there's an imbalance. Someone is not giving enough. Some, someone is like, someone is giving too much and the other person is not giving enough, but future energy we have that you deserve love. You are lovable, okay? Clarify you deserve love. 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 You deserve love. You deserve love here. All right, we have the Queen of Wands, which is fire energy. Um, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. So someone is adamant about, you know, they're feeling like you're adamant about deserving um, to be to of their love. Okay, so let's see. Clarify the Queen of Wands. Why is the Queen of Wands here? All right, we have the King of Pentacles. Some of, the, some of you guys could be dealing with the Virgo Taurus Capricorn. I keep getting a sense of Earth energy here. We got Sagittarius energy here as well. Um, but there could be a Virgo Taurus Capricorn involved in a situation. But this is about feeling worthy. Like the the Pentacles, King of Pentacles is about his coin. This is about, you know... Um, being uh, at the top of your game financially, um, business oriented. This could be someone that's very business oriented. Um, so maybe 
their feeling I'm just sensing worth, you know, worth, worth it. So future energy, you know, they could come around. So I feel like some of you guys could possibly be moving really slow, but I'm sensing like coming around, but just taking, taking your time. But if I King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. Why is the King of Pentacles here? With the Queen of Wands. The King of Pentacles here. The King of Pentacles here. All right, Ten of Wands. So this um this talks about the load, okay? Carrying a heavy load. Almost being to the finish line, putting in a lot of work and effort um, and, you know, almost being there to the finish line. Burdens, things, you know, just a heavy load, okay? Somebody's waiting for somebody to put some effort in. The C, like, are you deserving of, you know, are you worthy of my love? Because I gave it to you before and, you know, I didn't like you know, the situation that we were in. And then I'm sensing like they're feeling like you guys, some of you guys could be moving really slow, you know, on, on slow to give or it's something about unrequited, like just taking your time to give them something that they feel like some type of healing or, you know, just taking your time. Um, but I'm sensing like they're, you know, they're trying to see if, if it's worth, if it's going to be worth it in the near future. What if I attend the wands? What if I have 10 of wands? Why is 10 of wands here? What if I have 10 of wands? Yep. Eight of pentacles. Putting in effort. Putting in the work. They want to see if, you know, this is going to be worth it. They want to see if this is going to be worth it. Okay, so that's the message that I have for you guys for your case of the X. Um, and if this message resonated, leave me a thumbs up. And don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Leave me your um, your city in the comment section. Y'all know I love to know where the love and the energy is coming from, okay? Information, booking information will be below in the drop box. And the prices are discounted for the month of May, okay? Mwah. Thank you for tuning in. Ciao for now.